Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Had a little, little bitty swarm that was landed on the ground. The queen was in the in with them. It was really easy to find. You just look for the lump, the little golf ball size cluster. And sure enough, there she was. Uh, first of September, we got an overpacked, I would say one of these uh, two framers got away from us and it just got two packed and it swarmed out because of the size of the cluster uh, it probably wasn't a one pound cluster of bees so what I did I had another colony that was completely queenless they had two frames drawn out one was not completely and pretty much what I did was I, I put the queen in there in a cage laid it down here on the ground they walked right in. It was as simple as that. I'll let that sit there for a while and then I'll, I'll replace it back exactly where it was because those other bees that was left in that colony are over there kind of in limbo. So we'll let them sit here for a while and pick them up, put them back over there and, and just see how they do. Maybe I have to find them a frame that's got a little bit of honey on it because the frames that was in that queenless colony had absolutely nothing on it. There was no honey, nothing. <laughs> they hadn't been robbed out. And the reason I know that, because there was no cappings, there was no torn up comb. It was perfect shape. The resources were just, wasn't there and they was gone. So they're settling down really fast. I mean, I could probably here in the next couple minutes go ahead and move them because the majority of them are in there now. So that's what I'm going to do. So hold on just a second. We'll pick it up and we'll move her over. Okay, this is that original spot where that little two-framer was. You can see the, some of the bees are fanning right there in the front. And the queen is in there in a cage just in case they want to try to swarm again. When I come back, I'm going to check later on to see how many bees are actually filled up in there. If it's overwhelmingly full, then I'm going to put them in a five frame and then uh, let the queen stay caged for a while. So they're just trying to orientate to the box. And we'll just watch them here for a little bit and you can see them all going in. They pretty much, when I had it on the ground, they was uh they marched in really fast probably about a pound of them and they're just now they're just kind of coming out and orientating back to the to the hive if you'd look you'd think that they was uh trying to swarm again and that's always the possibility but they're facing inward, they're coming out. They come out and they circled around and now they're they're pretty much headed right back in the box. Their tails are pointed away from the box and they're going in because they know the queen's in there. So, kind of interesting, isn't it? A lot of times you just luck up on the, the little swarms like that because these, these little two framers, they don't take it don't take much to get them packed out. And once they get full, well, they gotta go somewhere. So, there you go. Just thought it was a little interesting clip from Barnyard Bees. Don't forget folks, please, don't forget barnyardbees.com for all your beekeeping supplies. And click on the little bell, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.